Hi guys, this is Bupinder. Welcome to my channel. Recently, I got curious about what does memory plus, memory minus, memory store, memory recall, and memory clear means. So I investigated a bit and tried to understand what that means. And I made this video now so that you guys could also understand what does it means and how to use it. For example, we got this equation in here which is 2 times 2 plus 3 times 2 minus 4 times 2, which we know would should be equal to 2. Now, I'm going to show you how to do it using these memories, ms, m plus, m minus, mr, to get the final results. So let's go ahead and start the business. First thing first, what we got to do is to times 2 by 2 and then equals to it and it's 4 what we got to do with this result store it in the memory by clicking on memory store after we store it in the memory then we go ahead with 3 times 2 is equals to 6 now what we got to do is to use memory store or add memory sorry Click on add memory in the background it already added 6 to the 4 so it should be 10 in here. And then what we got to do is go to the next step which is 4 times 2 <coughs> which is equals to 8 and now we want to subtract 8 from the previous answer. So it would be memory subtract. So here the answer should be already 2. Now all that is stored in the memory store. All we got to do is to recall that memory. In order to recall it, cl click on MR. And you see the answer here is 2. Memory recall is equals to 2. Now, what we can do with this answer? We can do a lot of things with this answer. Whatever we want, we can do with this answer. But I'm going to give you a simple example in here. I'm going to use 10 plus, then call the memory, memory call, which already came to a number as 2, then is equals to, obviously, 12. This, what I've shown in here to you guys, is a very simple example so that you could follow it but you could use for a much more complicated numbers like two point a fraction multiplied by a very complicated number you know 30 by something like that you know then it would be really useful to store that memory and then in the memory store something really complicated comes up and then you can use it throughout or if for example you don't have the value of pi which is very commonly used on, or another constant like gravity g is equals to 9.81 meter per second square you can put that into the memory in order to do that, clear the memory from whatever it was, put that new number 9.81, then store it, memory store, and then let's say we got 50 kgs, uh, then times that, recall the memory, is equals to 9,000, no, 4,905 newtons. So that's how you can use, guys. I hope you enjoyed this video. If it was useful, share it so that your class students, classmates, friends would also learn how to use uh, a PC's uh, calculator. And there are more fantastic functions now in it. Uh, again, you can follow me on Facebook, Twitter, Pinterest if you would like to and I'm here thanks guys bye for now